nice consistency that we got going on here now it's time to apply some more flavor to this and that's our soul there's your boy Chris vibes it up in the kitchen here now do not ever go macoing on Instagram when you're hungry I catch my partner sports in he cooking dal so I say to myself where is that looking good right away my belly start talking to me saying Chris Jumbi, listen, you need to cook some dal wars. A while back, I did share a video on cooking dal, which is basically split pea soup as we do it down in the Caribbean for my international viewers. That was not a traditional recipe. I noticed my boy on Instagram had all the makings for a traditional recipe. So that is what we mako and we're going to copy today. So we follow fashion as we would say when I was a youth on the islands. Your boy follow fashion today so in today's recipe a traditional dal which is split peas recipe you're gonna love this one man vegetarians you're gonna love it and it's almost like a soup so if you're into soups good you're gonna love this one man let me go step one I've got about six cup of boiling water in a deep saucepan here and I've got two cups of washed yellow split peas so this is dried split peas which I just washed and I have a video on the food FAQ channel explaining why we washed and how we washed the split peas so that's gonna go into the boiling water we just want to bring that back up to a boil so my heat is on a medium high I just want to bring that up back to a boil and then we're gonna start adding the flavor ingredients as it comes up to a boil we're gonna go in with about a half of a teaspoon of turmeric what we call sofran in the southern Caribbean so mainly like Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago we call that sofran not saffron but sofran that is one of the first flavor ingredients and it adds a beautiful color to the um, the dal. Now that it's come up to a boil and there's a reason why we didn't add the flavor ingredients until this point because you notice all that sort of frothy stuff at the top we need to skim that off and had we add the onion and the garlic and the black pepper and stuff like that while we were skimming this off chances are we would have been dumping some of that goodness out so I just want to skim that off just exactly so we're doing that right now all that stuff out give it a stir and now is when we're gonna go in with our flavor ingredients we've got salt black pepper I've got a, a couple of nice pieces of scotch bonnet pepper and you can put more you can cut back on that if you want I've got here a small onion which I sort of diced up finely I've got a couple cloves of garlic which I just smashed with the back of my knife and that is all some beautiful flavors that's going in there the whole idea now turn that down to a simmer and let that gently go for about one hour we want all of those flavors to come together and we want those um, the dry split pieces start falling apart and become nice and thick and soupy so what you want to do now you can move it to a smaller burner because I have it on a big burner what I usually do I put it to the back halfway cover it with my lid so slightly a jar like that in the corner and let it do its thing for about an hour it's been going now for about an hour I had put it to the back in a smaller burner but I brought it back forward just to show you guys so it's nice and thick on the bottom everything is falling apart there but we need to help it now this step here I would recommend turning your stove off because the last thing you need is extra heat because we're gonna be playing with it at this point so I like turning my stove off you have three options most of you will have a wire whisk at home so basically all you would do you would go in the wire whisk and help break up all the full grains of um, split peas that's still in there so sort of move it around whisk it all together 
nice smooth consistency the second option is one of these electric gizmos here I don't like these because it tend to if you you are using one of these pulse don't go continuous you're gonna get a sort of a frothy sort of consistency in my case I'm going old school one of these old wooden swizzle stick as we call them in the Caribbean or I'm gonna go in with it and with a sort of a rolling action with my fit with my hands and that's just going to move everything and it's going to break everything down it's going to get nice and thick and all those full grains which didn't break apart while it was boiling as well as the onion the garlic that scotch bonnet pepper everything's going to break apart and we're going to get a nice smooth consistency maybe the fourth option and I mean this is totally up to you if you want it you can put it into a blender or food processor and blitz it that way as well just quickly show you that nice consistency that we got going on here now it's time to apply some more flavor to this and its next step is called chunky so we got to chunk it down so we need some vegetable oil some cumin or what we call jeera as well as some garlic peep this every time I cook down it's always a mess on the stove Boy. You know, that's one of the reasons why I hate cooking down, you know, on my back burner here, just trying to get everything in the frame. I have a small frying pan with about three tablespoons of vegetable oil heating. Now, traditionally, there's a special tool they use. I can't remember the name of it. If one of you guys remember the name of that tool, I believe it's a kai tool. I can't remember. But um, if you remember the name, please leave a comment below. I have three tablespoons of vegetable oil heating there. And to that... I'm just going to put it back on the burner there because we've got to get it nice and hot. That's going to infuse into the cooked split peas here into the dal. I'm going to add two cloves of thinly sliced garlic. And if you like garlic, you can certainly add some more. And something very traditional, cumin seeds, um, which we call jeera. I'm going to add a few of those, maybe about, I don't know, 10, 15 seeds or so. Actually, we're going to go in with a little bit more of those just to impart some more flavor in there. And just what, you want, what you're looking for is that garlic to go almost black. You want that nice and toasted and black to really flavor that oil. That cumin seed is also going to toast and give you a ton of flavor in that oil. Now, this step here, you're adding hot oil to a liquid. So what we're going to do, what I would recommend doing sort of using the, the lid as a sort of a shield as you add it and then you would just top, put the lid on there so you got that lovely sort of burnt garlic and everything in there and you want to stir that around now oh that smell reminds me of when I was a kid and my mom would make dal Boy. ChrissyCaribbeanPot.com, a traditional dal recipe, split peas, yellow split peas, you can mix it up. What my grandmother would usually do is mix it with a dried lentil peas as well. So half and half, boy, you're looking for some nice thing there, you know. Chrissy, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Give this recipe a try. You can use it as a soup, as a side to rice and stews, stew chicken, stew pork, curry chicken, what's that? It's all kind of nice things, man. Bless up.